now we're going to show how to actually install our gas block assembly onto the barrel. So to start, we want to take a 332 Allen key, and we're going to remove the rear set screw. And we want to apply a non-permanent but a high heat type of Loctite. In this case, we're going to use blue, blue Vibratite. And this will help keep it from vibrating out as well as withstand the heat because the gas block is going to get really hot as you're firing. That's it. Then we'll take out the front one. same thing, just apply a little bit. While those are drying, we can set the gas block assembly in place on the barrel. Now we want to slide our gas block assembly over our barrel and we want to make sure that the gas tube, as we're doing so, goes right into this hole right above the barrel nut in the upper receiver. Very carefully, take our gas block assembly, we're going to slide it over the barrel. Make sure that the gas tube is unobstructed and then it's moving into the upper receiver. Once we reach this section of the barrel, this is called the gas journal, the smooth portion. Once we're sure that the gas tube is unobstructed and it's moving into the upper receiver, we can stop on the gas journal and we're going to take and rotate our upper assembly. on the reaction rod to the underside. Our battle arms barrels are all dimpled 180 degrees from the gas port hole for the back set screw on our gas block. So when we move the gas block the rest of the way, we just want to align the rear set screw hole in the gas block with the dimple. And this will ensure proper alignment the gas port to the gas port in the gas block as well as the gas tube. This will help prevent blow-by and excess gas leaking out from around the sides. Once we have that in place, we're then going to take our first set screw and very, very slowly thread it into the gas block. Now the dimple is chamfered, so as long as you have it in about the right place, as soon as you begin tightening it up, it should seat itself. Now you don't want to go all the way tight when you start. And you still want to make sure you have a little bit of wiggle so that if it's slightly off, you still have the ability to make an adjustment. Once you're sure that the rear set screw is in place, We'll then take the front one, and we'll do the same thing. Now because the front isn't dimpled, this will sit offset from the rear, but this is okay. One is enough to hold it in place, this will simply apply tension. To tighten it, use an L-type Allen key. Start with the back. 
making sure that it's still seated in that dimple. And cinch it down. And move to the front. And do the same. Now your gas block and gas tube are assembled on your barrel and on your upper receiver.